In the last 30 minutes, Sepulpa police arrested two people in an afternoon bank robbery. We brought you breaking news of the holdup at First United Bank on Fox 23 News at 5 and 6. Fox 23's Jonathan McCall is live at Sepulpa police headquarters with those new details he just learned from detectives. Yeah, those new names that we just got moments ago, Shay one, Ryan Michael O'Brien, the second is Michael Shane Witzel. Both of them now facing charges of robbery in connection to that holdup this afternoon. They were brought here to the Sepulpa Police Station, but will now be transported to the Creek County Detention Center. I want to show you some video from earlier today of how this all played out. Uh, take a look at the scene that my photographer and I found when we got to that robbery a short time afterward this afternoon. We watched as tow truck workers hauled away this black car from the scene. Tonight, detectives aren't saying exactly how this car may have played a role in this robbery. Police say this all happened around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Detectives say that O'Brien and Witzel walked into the first United Bank at the corner of Taft and Maine. One of those men handed a teller a note. After getting more than $3,000 in cash, one of the men walked out of the bank with the dough, but bank workers were able to shut the doors before the second suspect could walk out, keeping him locked inside of the bank until cops could get to the scene. Detectives say they did recover some $3,200 in cash, and both men did confess to their roles in that bank robbery. Police say the good news, they did not recover a weapon in this. None of the bank workers were injured during that holdup. Right now, we are working to get their mug shots and more details on their arrest. If we get any new details before the end of the newscast, we'll pass it along. Live tonight in Sepulpa, covering news that matters. I'm Jonathan McCall, Fox 23 News.